On September 8th, out here in Mojave, at Strato Launch Systems, we caught a glimpse of the big plane, the Strato Launch plane. They rolled it out of the hangar. We're going up and take a look at it. We believe this to be the largest uh, airplane ever assembled. Uh, the Spruce Goose, I think, held that record for a long time, but you can see now that the twin hull 747s joined together at the wingtips now have produced a monstrous airplane. It came out of this monstrous hangar here, built especially by Paul Allen and his engineers to construct the plane. We believe this to be the largest uh, airplane ever assembled. Uh, the Spruce Goose, I think, held that record for a long time, but you can see now that the twin hull 747s joined together at the wingtips now have produced a monstrous airplane. Looks like it's being backed up. Probably put back into the hangar behind us. It came out of this monstrous hangar here, built especially by Paul Allen and his engineers to construct the plane. Massive Strato Launch Systems carrier plane for aerial rocket launches rolled out of Mojave Air Spaceport hangar in Mojave, California for the first time on May 31st, 2017. Billionaire Paul Allen's private space flight company, Strato Launch, has just unveiled the world's biggest plane. A massive carrier plane with a wingspan larger than an entire football field. The colossal Strato Launch carrier plane rolled out of its hangar to undergo fuel tests. It's the first public look at the full craft, which is designed to launch rockets into orbit from the sky since construction began. Over the past few weeks, we have removed the fabrication infrastructure, including the three-story scaffolding surrounding the aircraft and rested the aircraft's full weight on its 28 wheels for the first time, Floyd said. This was a crucial step in preparing the, earth, the aircraft for ground testing, engine runs, taxi tests, and ultimately first flight. Strato Launch Systems Corp CEO Gene Floyd said this marks the completion of the initial aircraft construction phase and the beginning of the aircraft ground and flight testing phase. Paul Allen founded the Strato Launch Systems in 2011 with the goal of making access to low Earth orbit more convenient, reliable, and routine, according to the company's tagline. Allen teamed up with Scale Composites, 
a Mojave-based aerospace company founded by Burt Rutan to build the Strato launch carrier plane. Alan bankrolled scale composites, Spaceship One space plane, which went on to win the $20 million and Sari X Prize for private reusable crewed spacecraft. Strato Launch's launch profile resembles that of Spaceship One, which was carried to launch Altitude by its own mothership, called the White. Another private space flight company, Virgin Galactic, founded by billionaire Sir Richard Branson, also derived its launch system from scale composites. Virgin Galactic's Spaceship Two space planes will launch passenger flights from the belly of a White Knight 2 carrier plane which has a wingspan of 140 feet. But Strato Launch dwarfs its White Knight 2 cousin. The Strato Launch plane is a twin boom aircraft with a wingspan of 385 feet, a length of 238 feet, and a tail height of 50 feet. The massive plane weighs 550,000 pounds by itself and a mind-boggling 1.3 million pounds when fully loaded with rocket payload. Over the coming weeks and months, we'll be actively conducting ground and flight line testing at the Mojave Air and Spaceport, Floyd said. This is a first of its kind aircraft, so we're going to be diligent throughout testing and continue to prioritize the safety of our pilots, crew, and staff. Strato Launch is on track to perform its first launch demonstration as early as 2019. Why so big? Allen plans to use the Strato launch plane as an airborne rocket launcher. Instead of taking off a, la a launch pad, which requires lots of fuel, Strato launch will give rockets a head start by first carrying them up into the sky. It's already got one customer, private space flight company Orbital ATK inked a deal with Strato Launch Systems last October to use the giant plane as a launcher for its Pegasus XL rocket, which is used to send small satellites into space. 